So I made this video to show uh, the efficiency of a large diameter propeller on the SunSeeker Duo, how um, I'm able to take off with only 15 kilowatts, that's about 20 horsepower, and go uh, up at a really good climb angle, and in this case I, I often find updrafts right off the runway, and uh, even though this was only 9 in the morning, I found uh, thermal right at the opposite end of the runway, and that was as far as I had to go. I uh, was able to turn the motor off in just over a minute, as you'll see, taking off here just now. Um, this was during a sailplane competition, the national glider competition being held in Italy. Yeah, landing gear coming up. As you can see, nose gear is a lot faster because it's lighter. Um, I've been working on sequencing the landing gear doors, but um, as you can see here, the left doors are lagging a little bit. They close eventually here. So um, after I take off, I'm watching my climb rate, which is generally pretty steady unless I hit an updraft. and. I hit an updraft just about the end of the runway here, so I started circling over uh, where I expected the best part of the updraft to be, and as soon as I was sure it was there, I could shut the motor down, and uh, with an electric motor you don't need any cool-down procedure, so uh, I just uh, initiate the shutdown command, and the motor controller does a nice uh, soft stop and just starting here and then the propeller closes horizontally when the motor's fully stopped and I can start it again in just a few seconds if I need it but uh, as you can see from the rest of the recording I didn't need it and I hardly used any of the batteries at all taking off if I can climb 2000 meters on the power in the batteries and the solar panels allow the airplane to maintain level flight in full sun. So um, those are the modes the Sunseeker Duo can fly in, either as a uh, sailplane or a battery-powered airplane or solar sustain mode, I would call it. So anyway, thanks for watching and... That's a uh, takeoff into thermal in the Sunseeker Duo.